Disneyland is your land. <laughs> Come seek an adventure at the old pirates, eh? Make the jump to light speed. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Oh! Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a lot to cover, from new patterns in Disneyland's crowd levels to some exciting updates straight out of the D23 convention. That's right, TC. So let's dive right in with some breaking news about crowd patterns at Disneyland. If you're planning a trip, this is info you won't want to miss. Since we started this channel, we've spent a lot of time talking about wait times and how to dodge the crowds. But guess what? There's a new pattern emerging that could totally change the way you plan your visit. High cost ticket days, usually on weekends, are actually less crowded. That's a big change from what we've seen in the past, especially when you compare it to those supposedly cheap weekdays. Those lower priced weekdays, sometimes as low as $104 to $134, that might seem like a great deal. But guess what? They are going to be packed with visitors. This pattern is expected to become even more noticeable from mid-August through September when some of the least expensive days of the year pop up. But beware, the cheapest days might just be the busiest. Meanwhile, if you're after those least crowded days, look for those 184 to 194 ticket days. They are super pricey, but you're likely going to find a lot shorter wait times and a more relaxed park experience. Now, switching gears to something totally immersive. If you're a fan of Avatar, you're in for a treat. Visitors at the D23 convention in Anaheim got a sneak peek into the world of Pandora. There's an Avatar pavilion at the Anaheim Convention Center using part of the Avatar experience tour that's been going on, and it's a must-see. It's like stepping right into James Cameron's world with all the art and ambiance that made the film so beloved. The walkthrough experience really captures the magic of Pandora, making it an exciting preview of what's to come at Disneyland. Speaking of excitement, Disneyland is developing a new Marvel e-ticket attraction around King Thanos that's going to take thrill rides to the next level, or so they say. This new ride will launch guests across the multiverse in a dynamic vehicle that makes you feel like you're flying with the Avengers. According to the Walt Disney Imagineering display at D23, the ride is still in development, but we're already hyped. So we're not even going to get like a finished product here. We've just got a pretty good idea of what's happening. The ride vehicles are expected to be similar to those used on Peter Pan's Neverland Adventure in Tokyo Disney Sea and other popular rides like Transformers at Universal Studios and Spider-Man at Islands of Adventure. Not everything with Disney goes according to plan, though, if this did. Some recent visitors to Disneyland had a bit of a scare on the Alice in Wonderland attraction. Yeah! On August 3rd, guest Amanda Poole was filming her experience when the ride malfunctioned. The doors between her carriage and the one ahead of her didn't open in time. You can hear her say, broken, right before her carriage bumps into the closed doors. Well, that was definitely not the magic experience that she was expecting. Fortunately, everyone was okay, but it's a reminder that even the most whimsical rides can have their hiccups. In more positive news, the Redwood Creek Challenge Trail has reopened after a lengthy refurbishment. While not much has changed, everything looks brand new and it's ready for guests to explore once again. It's a great spot to take a break from the more crowded areas of the park and enjoy some peaceful outdoor fun. New Orleans Square is seeing some temporary closures, so if you're planning to visit soon, here's what you need to know. The bridge connecting New Orleans Square to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is temporarily closed, so everything over there by Rise of the Resistance and Hungry Bear. You can still access Galaxy's Edge through the Frontierland entrance and the one that's over closer to Fantasyland. Haunted Mansion Holiday is back as of July 29th, but it's only available via virtual queue. If you want to visit, make sure you secure your spot early. To ride, you're going to have to use a virtual queue. Think of Rise of the Resistance when it first opened. To secure a spot, you're going to have to open the virtual queue page in the Disneyland app at 7 a.m. on the day of your visit. You don't have to be in the park, but if you miss out, you can try again at noon, but you do have to be in the park for that one. The Gingerbread House features Dr. Finkelstein's latest experiment, a gingerbread man monster being electrified to life. The new black lights really make the props pop, especially in the attic. And just a heads up, the Disneyland Railroad is closed now due to construction. Not sure yet how long that's going to be, certainly no longer than it takes to open Tiana's Bayou Adventure, but hopefully before that. Plus, some of the snack carts, like the popcorn and churro carts, might be relocated, so keep an eye out for those changes when you're craving a treat. Over in Critter Country, there's a lot going on with the transformation of this area into Tiana's Bayou Adventure. 
the Briar Patch is closed and will soon become Ray's Berets, while Pooh Corner is being transformed into Louie's Critter Club, though the treat side will stay the same. The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh is also closed for now, but will reopen when the rest of Critter Country does. And if you're a fan of the Hungry Bear restaurant, it's getting a new menu as it becomes Hungry Bear Barbecue Jamboree. Unfortunately, the restrooms nearby are closed, so plan accordingly. Let's talk Marvel. Breaking news. Deadpool and Wolverine are making special appearances in Avengers Campus at Disneyland. You can catch them in some performances of Avengers Assemble and Guardians of the Galaxy Awesome Dance Off. And if you're lucky, you might even catch Deadpool doing a story time session. That's right, Deadpool's got a cozy reading chair at the Hyperion Theater patio. And don't worry, Disney assures us that his stories are family friendly. Wolverine might even drop by, so keep your eyes peeled. Over at Disney California Adventure, the Golden Vine House just debuted on July 24th exclusively for current Disney Vacation Club members. It's a sales center, but it keeps the charm of the old Blue Sky Cellar while adding some cool new features, like a digital door that shows you all the places that you can go with a DVC membership and a bunch of cool models. Definitely worth checking out if you're a member or thinking about becoming one. And finally, some good news for Disneyland workers. Last week, it looked like a strike was possible with a 99% vote to authorize a walkout. But in the early morning hours of Wednesday, Disney and the unions reached an agreement that put a pause on any potential labor unrest. Cast members are currently voting on the new contract and if it's approved, their new wages will be retroactive to June when their previous contract expired. It's a pretty good increase. Fingers crossed for a yes vote so everyone can get back to making the magic happen. And that's all for today's update, folks. May the light in the firehouse window always shine brightly, and may your dreams always come true. We'll see you real soon. We'll be back with more updates soon. Until then, have a magical day. Now, as you may know, most good stories start off with a once upon a time, and ours begins with those three little pigs who are always being chased by that big, sad wolf. And they just so happen to live here on our right-hand side. Now, friends, as we pass by, you'll notice three little homes. One made out of straw, the next made out of sticks, and last, but certainly not least, one made out of guaranteed wolf proof bricks. 